What's up, everyone? Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI, a part two to the MCHF clone, the RS918. Using it on digital modes, yes, it is possible. Yes, it's over USB. Yes, it works on Windows 10. So what I'm going to show you here is linking it up to Ham Radio Deluxe and the WSJTX software using the USB on the radio. Now, what... What I said before in the other video was this USB right here is what is used for cat control as well as the audio in and out of the radio. Uh, you can use the line in, line out over here if you chose to for sound card in and out, but it's a lot easier on the USB to do uh, as a USB sound card interface built into the radio. So let me show you how to set that up real quick. So looking in the device manager on Windows 10, here's my current port, and when I plugged in the RS918, uh, Windows automatically loaded the virtual serial port uh, driver, the virtual COM port, USB serial driver, uh, COM14. So in your device manager, if you see you have something like this, that's an issue, and you might have to reinstall or get a generic Windows USB virtual COM port driver uh, or on Windows 7 rather if it doesn't automatically load. So with it being on COM14 here, the next thing I can show you first on the WSJTX software, you can see I'm decoding here. Here is the waterfall and these are FT8 signals that are coming in with this plugged into USB on the radio. Now if you go up to file go to settings you'll see that the rig I have selected is the FT817 on COM14 and the rest of this should fall in place if you want PTT method uh, I don't think there's a Vox option on this radio so you want to choose cat um, if you test cat it should light up green showing you that you do have a connection but also uh, you should see the waterfall coming in here if it's because the only thing I have plugged in is the uh, RS918 radio. So I can see that the audio is coming out USB and going into the software here. And also here up top on tools, I'm sorry, uh, file, settings, and audio, you will see that the input and output, well, the output is USB interface MCHF. The input defaulted here. I have my regular microphone and then USB audio device. It doesn't say MCHF here. But that's pretty much, it might show different on your computer, but this is what it's seeing as the sound card in the radio, as well as this one here. So if both of these are set correctly, you should have sound from the RS918 here, and it, it's coming on here. And then I could also transmit, and it is keying the radio right now. So this is a 40 meter uh, FT8 on here. Now... I'm going to exit this and I'm going to show you Ham Radio Deluxe real quick. Uh, my Ham Radio Deluxe for some reason is taking like a minute to uh, to start up on my computer. I'm not sure why. Let me just pause here. And when it loads up, you'll see here I have a preset. Yesu FT817 COM14 384 speed. Connects right away to the RS918 radio. And there you have it. Now, if I start Digital Master 780, I could use this for a PSK also, as well as RIDI and uh, some other modes. And here it is. Now you'll see up top here, it set my PTT for Ham Radio Deluxe because it is linked up through the program. So Ham Radio Deluxe is controlling the PTT. This software is controlling the audio in and out for the digital modes. And you can see microphone, USB interface, MCHF. Speakers MCHF. That's the 918 uh, clone of the MCHF. So uh, transmit does work here. And if you go to tools and program options, uh, PTT is where you're going to choose Ham Radio Deluxe. I'm not sure why this is freezing like this. In the PTT menu, Ham Radio Deluxe is what I chose. Configuring the Ham Radio Deluxe connection will, it should automatically, uh, if you're already linked up, should come up. But in here, you might have to use 
localhost 7809 for a port and connect and it connects to ham radio deluxe as an ft817 and that'll handle your uh, ptt and all that but here is digital master there's some ft8 there and that's all coming in on the mchf clone the rs918 uh, no sound card interface needed between it and uh, fully compatible on windows 10 for those who are naysayers of Windows 10, it does work on Windows 10 as well as Windows 7. I use it on my netbook out in the field. So, a uh, quick video showing just basic real quick that you can set it up. Uh, if you're having an issue with the driver for Windows 10, you might have to troubleshoot that and getting a virtual COM port driver in your device manager to associate this with a COM port so that you can link up Ham Radio Deluxe. But Linking up as an FT817 protocol for WSJTX for using the FT8 modes and JT65 and PSK RIDI and all these other ones here on Digital Master 780. 7.3, there's more videos on the way next week. Stay tuned from KJ4YZI.